Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new way to apply super chunky glitters. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so to get started, here are the two colors that I'm going to be using today. Both of these colors are from Bad Kitty Dips, and it's Furry Flurry and Feliz Navidad. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. So to get started, I'm just going to be pouring out some of each of the glitters because as you can see, it's pretty full to the top. And I'm just going to go in and apply my base. And the first technique that you're going to do is you're actually going to pour over the glitter. So instead of dipping your finger and picking up all those chunky glitters, you're actually going to pour it over so that you can get the smaller pieces. I actually learned this from the owner, Dominique, of Bad Kitty Dips. And so she told me this is what she does for her swatches. I tried it out for myself and I really, really liked that you only get the smaller glitters. I did have those two pieces of red glitter, um, but I ended up taking that off. And then here I'm just taking my finger and pressing it down. You can use a plastic bag, you can use pretty much whatever you want, but I just <laughs> decided to use my finger. And then here we are going in with the second color, and once again I'm going to be pouring over the glitter instead of dipping it in, just to hopefully pick up as much of those smaller glitters as possible. So right here is actually a technique that I learned from Kate Snails in her channel. So she actually uses her finger, dips it in the glitter, and then taps on top. And I find that that worked really well too. Um, I'm also about to go in right here with a plastic bag. Whatever way you want to pat down the glitters is your choice. And here I am scooping out some of the bigger pieces because that's what we're going to apply next. So for, these, for this specific glitter, Furry Flurry, you have to make sure that you're getting only one snowflake since they are kind of stuck together. So as you saw, it was stuck to the one in my right hand and then I just pulled two snowflakes apart. So that's a, a huge tip, you know, just making sure that you get one piece of the snowflake. Here I'm applying a thicker layer of base and then I'm going to be applying all the bigger pieces. So the snowflakes, the bigger dots, the bigger hex glitters, just kind of putting it wherever I see fit, filling in all those spaces. And yeah. Okay, now is where the new technique comes in. So instead of just letting that dry or trying to push the glitters down, you're gonna apply activator. So what this does is this is just gonna rapidly dry the dip base and you're gonna be able to press down the glitters more efficiently than you would if the base was still wet. So I just applied a couple dots of activator over the entire nail, letting it dry for a couple seconds and now I'm going to be pressing down the glitters. As you saw, it was sticking up. All the different um, pieces of the snowflake were sticking up. Those bigger hex glitters were kind of sticking up. And now using this plastic bag, I am just going to press everything down, make sure everything is nice and smooth. And as you saw, the bag kind of released from the, um, the nail. And this is the beauty of this specific technique that I, I think I randomly came up with. I haven't seen anybody else do this yet. Um, as there you can see that it's super flat. And I randomly just did this while I was swatching because I was sick of waiting for the base to dry and I was like, let me just add some activator. And then I took the bag and I put it over and it worked out really well. So I figure I make a video on it because I think it's some, I think it's a technique that everybody can benefit from, especially now with a lot of brands coming out with glitters like this one right here with Christmas trees and stars and you know, snowflakes and everything like that. So once again, I just applied a thicker layer of base over that nail and then I'm placing all these bigger glitters. I let it dry for a couple seconds and here I'm showing how the glitter pieces are all kind of sticking up from the tree and the other glitters at the top and so I'm just gonna dab a couple dabs of activator. You can also use like a dropper bottle or I don't know whatever else you want to use. I had no issues using the actual brush that came with my activator just be careful you're not, you know, brushing it over the nail. You're just kind of dabbing it on so you don't get base onto your activator brush. And then I'm just going to let it air out for a little bit, about 5 to 10 seconds. And then you're going to go in with your bag and you're going to press everything down. So, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if I was the original person that came up with this. I personally have not seen anybody do it this way. And I think it works out really, really well. And I really hope it works out for you too.
And here I am just showing how flat all the glitter pieces are and how just, yeah, everything is just super smooth. And then all you have to do is file off the excess on the sides. So these are what the swatch sticks are looking like at this point and I did clear encapsulate off camera. I still recommend at least clear encapsulating one time just to protect the glitters but because they're nice and flat you shouldn't have any issues filing through. Um, these are the swatch sticks after I clear encapsulated, activated, and file shaped and buffed, of course top coated. And yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I just really hope this technique works out for you. If it does, please let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!